going on guys today's um today 20 september 23 2022 we are going to a um no ac call we'll see what it is i hope all is well today's um how, how hot today is it 60 degrees 60 right now. and we have a no ac call yeah. that's that's living the life right when you need ac and it's 60 degrees you live in the dream? Let's open your windows. <laughs> That's what my mother used to say. Get a window air conditioner. <laughs> anyway, I hope all is well. Um, it's me and G today. And my man, Guillermo. Yes, sir. With the accent. So, uh, that's it. I want to say thank you guys for everybody for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Hit the notifications. And hit the like button, if you will. I appreciate it. Let's see what this call is, though. Just drove like 15 minutes out of the way. Because when we hit, like in our in our program, we hit, um, it'll say like the dispatch. And then you, click, you just click on the address. And then it'll, the Google Maps or whatever, it's supposed to. <laughs> It's not supposed to take us, but shows us whatever. So it looks like the address was in wrong. So it took us like two towns over. So now we're going back another 11 more minutes. Got a quarter tank of gas in my new E class. But that's all right. Yes, when did you call today? Good. Good. I know our phones weren't working before, oh, but perfect. I would have thought it was my fault. The dog's locked up. So uh, the dog's okay. How you been? I'm uh, doing all right, thanks. Good. How are you? Good. You're very nice. Thank you. I, you know, I've told. That's me. Guillermo. This is G. Guillermo. Nice to meet you. G, they call you? Yeah. That's so funny. I've been aged since seventh grade, and I bet you I'm a tad older than you. A anyway, little bit. Yeah, a little bit by like a thousand years, probably. So anyway, I'm walking in White Plains one day, and I see a woman, African American woman, like struggling to get up a little ramp to get into the Starbucks in a wheelchair uh -huh. so i go to help her no big deal i make her laugh and this and that so some like street guy says well that was so nice i'm going to get you a jewish wife he, uh, he goes you should be blessed with a jewish wife and i said all right have a jewish wife he yells back how about an italian girlfriend <laughs> it's the same thing that's see now that I, was essentially it yeah it just wasn't as funny this no but, but it's true no but way. that's what i say I've, I've been trying to say it but i just can't yeah, say it so. well that's literally what uh, whatever you call this there was the face plate yeah the face plate was blank Okay. I've changed three different sets of brand new batteries. Okay. Nothing comes up. First, it said low battery. Okay. So okay. I take it off. I change the batteries. So now it's just blank. Now there's no battery. So I'm showing you my bag of effing batteries. That okay. I with this can we go check it out inside? Because if you can fix it from here, you're a magician. What do you have? Th a triple A there? These are triple A. Can you grab that zipper bag on my front? And one of them. Right, so here's our thermostat with a blank face. Let's put in some triple A and just start there. Can never hurt. These wires look a little, they're not even really in too well. Here's your R. All right, we're gonna redo the wires first and then see, just to, see, let's go to the air handler too and make sure there's not a float switch killing. Oh no, cause there's no common here anyway, so it wouldn't matter. We'll have to replace it. So if your batteries are, if your thermostat's ever blank, Check the back of your batteries yeah. and make sure the contacts right here yeah. are pushed out. So this one was pushed in far. And instead of selling the customer a new thermostat, which they didn't need, yeah, we went ahead and were honest and fixed it for them. And there we go. And then I asked for you specifically. Thank so you. No, that's cool. All the boxes. Thank you. This is clutchy. Thank you. Anytime. So now it's going to work again. Same thing, three months or ten years? <laughs> three months or ten years. We don't. don't put that on YouTube. <laughs> we want to keep that separate. Well, now we're going to find out oh, no. if that was the problem to begin with, right? So, gee, let me have the um, thermostat screwdriver so I could screw this bottom screw in. Homeowner and I were just talking about... So he just saved a couple hundred bucks because he didn't need to buy a thermostat. And he, what he said was... You know, I could be one of these asshole customers that just say, didn't even say hi to me and just like walked in and said like, there's the unit, get it fixed, right? But his whole point is, 
because he engaged and told me his problem, which was this morning it said low battery, and he went and tried to change them, and then the thermostat went blank. If he didn't tell me that, I might not have known. Here's the air handler, this thing's a dinosaur. But I might not have known the problem, so I would have just said the thermostat's bad. But by him telling me it said low battery and now it's a blank screen, I say, well, wait, the contacts must be bent and the, the battery's not making contact. So at that point, we got his system to work. Hey, Jay, yeah. the condenser, I believe, just kicked on. Just go check outside. At that point, he saves money because at least I get to know the pro I get to know what happened, right? Instead of him not, instead of him just telling me, just get it fixed. So I'm glad we talked about it and then worked the problem out. And the customer saves at that time. I, I just like to, it's a good thing. Let's see over here for a second. This is his other system for upstairs. Look at this can. This is from like 83. Oh, 83, but this can at Budweiser. It's ancient. I think I don't think they still look like that. Maybe it does. But whatever. Alright guys. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. I don't know, I was kind of mumbling over my words before when I was in the attic, but basically, as long as all people need to do are communicate. Like, so as he's telling me that, he's like, well, this morning it said low battery, and now there's no, now there's just a blank screen. There's no common wire. So then I was like, wait, let me look at this thing. So I looked closer. At first, I was about to like sell the guy a new thermostat. So my whole point is, if people just communicate, you can actually save money and fix problems. Yeah. But anyway, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. And have a great weekend. The weather's awesome here in New York. And that's it. All right, guys. Take care.